Almaty will be the host city of the 2017 Universiade. And for the organizing committee in Kazakhstan, the Speed Skating World Championships are a good test event to make sure everything is working well. It's a very good experience for Almaty people for organizing committee to host uh, champ these championships. It's the second edition and we see a grown interest from all countries participating uh, here in this event. The first day of competition and Yang Zimanski is all set for the 1500 meters. Generally, 1500 is a medium distance that is uh, very important uh, because uh, the uh, skater must uh, calibrate the groove and uh, must think exactly what to do the first lap and the last lap. Zimanski wins with a new record time. I'm very happy because I, I win today. I win uh, two years ago uh, in uh, on the first uh, uh, academic uh, world championships in uh, in Zakopane, and uh, in at the beginning of uh, this season, uh, uh, I decide I want to come here because uh, uh, it's a legendary tr uh, ice tr ice ring, and uh, uh, I want to compete here on a uh, high altitude. Now I get a uh, track record on a 1500. Uh, for sure, I will fight tomorrow to get a uh, uh, track record on a 1,000 and a 5K. Day two, and 45 by his track record, Jan launches himself into the 1,000 meters, trying to improve on the silver medal he won at Trentino, but he makes a mistake. Jimanski falls, of course, it happens sometimes, it comes with the sport. He's slightly hurt, but more than slightly disappointed. I make a mistake in the beginning of the corner. I get crashed and uh, I think I will start a 5K, so it will be good. Back in the locker room, he shrugs off the race and downplays the pain from the fall that has allowed the Italian, Mirko Nenzi, to take the victory in the 1,000 meters. It was lucky because Jan Szymanski was felt, so for sure he won, he won the race, but this is the race, so sometimes happened to me, sometimes to the other guys. So. And more disappointment for Jan in the 5,000. It was quite tough because uh, after a crash on a 1,000, uh, I have a little bit problem with my backs. Uh, I don't feel uh, uh, quite well, but uh, I skate in last part and I can uh, control uh, all distance and uh, I know what I need uh, to do and uh, I make it uh, the fastest time I can uh, do today. So for Jan Zimanski, the championships are over. But for some of his compatriots, well, they're still racing. 3,000 and 5,000 and long distance, you must uh, uh, calibrate uh, lap by lap. Alexandra Goss wins the 5,000 meters. It was really hard because of little wind and it's really cold, but I really like the ice, so I'm really happy about my results. I really li like the drink, it's really beautiful, and I, I hope I will come here again. Then it's the men's 500. 500 is the shortest uh, distance that uh, we have in speed skating. The athletes uh, must uh, give all uh, in uh, 36, uh, 35 seconds. And this race sees another victory for Mirko Nenzi of Italy. The women's mass start, the only race where the skaters all start together, an event where experience is important. I could sense that the other girls had a bit of less experience with each other, together in the same track, and so they were a bit scared. It was much better than yesterday, so this is more my cup of tea, and it was, yeah, it was great. Jessica will finish fifth. The race is won by a Russian athlete, Olesia Chonega. 
I didn't expect to have a place on the podium, but I still prepared myself mentally. My favorite distances really didn't work out too well, but I wanted to take my revenge in the mass start. I came here 10 days early. The track is located at high altitude, you know, and I, I wanted to have time for acclimatization. So a Russian victory for the women in the mass start, and so too for the men, Alexandra Razorinov. And so the speed skating championships come to a close. The final university championships in a very good year. Over these last 10 months, we organized 28 world university championships. Um, effectively, that is 144 competition days, which allowed us to, to reach a new record in terms of participation. So this year we had 6,450 athletes and officials that came in from all over the world, uh, from 92 countries. So uh, in terms of participation, we're very happy. In terms of the results of the events, we're very happy. And of course, a huge congratulations and a, and a very big thank you from our side to the organizers themselves, because without them, we would not be able to reach this, this, this new record for us. The next FISU World University Speed Skating Championships will take place in Italy at Baselga di Pine. Today's stars, tomorrow's leaders,